yo what is up guys welcome back to another video and today as requested we are going to be showing you how to build that that cake or that that gat you know don't use slang guys let's be more mature no i'm playing doesn't matter but we are going to be showing you actually i'm going to be showing you how i've built my gat you know what i'm saying most of the time it's just really squats and you want to go heavy or you want to go light and go all the way down and all the way up full range of motion but don't be afraid to get to uh, uh do like quote lift heavy and then people say oh well he's ego lifting well no he just wants to try heavier weight and you know he's trying it you know it's like either oh he's lifting a little bit or he's he's lifting a lot and he's ego lifting so like don't listen to the haters man whatever you're doing whether lifting a lot people say it's ego lifting it's light lifting at the end of the day you're at the gym lifting now if someone points out pointers you'd be like hey i can try it this way but this is how you train P people have different ways on how they train but at the end of the day uh this is one of my how to build cake this is how we're gonna build cake like i don't know how to bake a cake like in the kitchen but I know how to bake a cake in the in the gym for sure. So today we're gonna be baking a cake. And thank you guys. At the end of the day, I just wanna let you know. Thank you for all the support. We've gained, you know, like 30 subscribers in the past month. That's very good. I I really do enjoy that. This wouldn't be possible without you guys. And God, remember to give all glory to God, guys. And uh without further ado, this is how you build that thick gat and it's for i think his name was preston uh if you tune in this is the video made especially for you it's even gonna have your uh little comment in there so if we ever make it out far you can be like you were here since day one on this video and be like clip it chat so <clears throat> without further ado how to build a gat so much that you will ask people wait a minute building a gat so much that Gat, rat, smat, hat. Building a gat so big that people question why you have a tat. That, that's definitely should be the thing. Now I'm playing. But without further ado, let's get rolling, baby. Mwah. Okay, this is my first time doing this recording stuff. But right now, we're going quite heavy i usually don't uh you know squat this for reps but i decided i'd try it as you can see i don't get that much range of motion but i'm trying to get you as much as i can i'm gonna switch the weight up and continue this set we're trying to do two or three heavy sets and then you'll, you'll see we'll do two light sets with you know full range of motion of course because you know that's how you build that gap you know what i'm saying so here's me doing that Now you may be thinking, wow, this is his second set. No, this is just the continual of my first set because I wasn't happy with it. I wasn't getting a good full range of motion. So this is actually still my first set, but you know, that's how I'm just counting it right now. I just didn't feel like a true. See, there's a lot more range of motion than with the, well, three plates and then, you know, well, it's not three plates, but the two 45, the two plates and, you know, the 35 or 25 whatever was on there but yeah this is still the same set we're gonna do heavy we're just gonna keep this weight on just do that for the next yeah whatever it's called set as you can see we lower the weight a little bit more now as you can see here we are going all the way down where we're getting so much range of motion out here slow and controlled trying to keep a steady pace and 
hands. Well, feet placement, feet placement is a big deal. You want to find where you squat, where you can get the deepest in your squat. So what I'd recommend is you get shoulder width apart, keep your heels in, but point your toes out almost at a 45 or 60 degree angle, whatever you feel is comfortable. It may, you may just be flat footed 90 degrees and you can get all the way down, but that's what I've figured out. Everyone's different with their stance on how they're most flexible of getting, you know, all the way down. But however you feel most flexible on the way going down, that's how you should do it. Like your gluteus maximus or your gap. And I'm talking here. I forgot I was saying what I was saying, but I'm probably saying something inspirational. I don't know. Just make sure your gap touches your calves, and then like with no weight. And then if you do it with weight, that's very impressive too. But that's how you would squat. Those are like the quarter squats you get for jumping higher. So we'll go to the next clip.